doing well welcome back to another video today i just thought i'd pick up the camera and we'll spend a nice day together guys you know what i just feel really talkative today i feel in the perfect mood to be vlogging so yeah i just thought i'd take you along on my monday day with me um, we have just had news over the weekend that england is going back into a lockdown so i want to get out first of all and get my nails done today i mean every girl's sort of problem right here and um, i'm literally due to get my nails done i actually painted them over the weekend um but there's no nothing like actually going to the nail shop and getting them done properly is there like you can use all these at home gel kits but getting your nails done in the shop is just on a different level so yeah I'm gonna go and do that so I'm all prepared for the lockdown and um, because I just think we don't know when we're actually gonna come out and also if you're wondering why this side of my hair is straight and this side is wavy I'm also in the middle of getting ready so I thought whilst I was doing my hair I was like do you know what let me save this side and actually show you what I use and what I do because I always get so many questions how I like get these like soft just cute loose waves so yeah i'm going to show you how to do that it's a bit of a rarity for me to actually do a little tutorial on hair or makeup because i don't know that's not really like what my channel is anymore but anyway i'm going to show you but before we do get on with our day today first of all i need to have a few cookies because oh my god i just feel in a biscuit mood today i've been really trying to like not have as many biscuits lately but do you know what i don't know about you guys but biscuits to me is just like one thing i can't ever seem to like cut out of my diet you know i go gym i try and eat reasonably healthy but i just think you can't deprive yourself of a cup of tea and biscuit like what would life be if you actually never had a biscuit of your cup of tea so yeah the biscuits are always going to be in my diet like there's no there's no going away anyway right we need to crack on with our morning before i do get on out and sort my hair out and everything um i have actually just had an exciting delivery so i wanted to share and show you and um, i've had some new prints arrive from decenio so this part of the video is actually in collaboration with decenio so thank you so much to decenio for working with me once again so as you guys probably already know i have in fact worked with decenio in the past um, but if you don't actually know who Desenio are, which I'm pretty sure you guys will know who they are unless you have been living under a rock. They are essentially an online wall art company. They sell the most insane prints. Honestly, that website has pages and pages and pages of just insane wall art, specifically Scandinavian design. But honestly, there is something for everyone on that site. I can sit on that site for hours looking and filling my basket up and then having to make that big decision of like which ones do I actually want. So yeah, there's definitely wall art to cater for everyone on Desenio. And also they do sell the frames as well so you can get the prints and the frames to have it all delivered in one delivery and another great thing i love about desenio's website is they actually have like a gallery wall art section so if you're wanting to do like a gallery wall or just wanting some inspiration about like what prints to go with each other then they have a whole section on the website which will give you ideas because i don't know about you guys but sometimes i get a little bit overwhelmed when i'm looking at prints and i'm like what goes with what what's going to look good um so yeah they have you covered on the website so that's really really good as well so yeah, that is Desenio. I do actually have a discount code which will get you 25% off and I believe it is Meacham. So I'll pop the discount code on screen. I think there are a few exceptions with what it's valid on. So it's not going to be valid on the framed, the hand-picked or personalised prints, but everything else, it is valid. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the wall art that I picked out. I have actually just put a few in the frames. Um, I was so excited about it. You know, like when you get a package and you're like, oh my God, I need to get them out now. I need to look at them all and I need to swap over my prints because I've actually had the same Desenio prints in my house since I moved in which was nearly two years ago now so yeah I really wanted just to switch them up I feel like with prints guys they're that one thing that can really switch up a house without spending thousands of pounds on like new furniture you know decorating everywhere so yeah if you're looking for a way that's not like super super expensive to just change up your house slightly I always feel like just getting a few new prints I'm not saying go out and get 30 new prints because obviously things do add up but even if you just get like three or four new prints I just feel like it's such a good way to just make your house look so different like honestly just by changing up my two prints in my hallway like i walk in my hallway now and i'm like oh my god it looks so different in here so yeah let's go and have a look at my hallway now and i will show you my hallway prints i'll also show you the ones that um i put back in here actually so they come in this packaging so they're all nice and rolled up so um you know i can obviously use the others if i ever get bored again and want to mix it up and um, so yeah i'll show you the two that i had from Desenio before i'll show you the ones that i've changed them around with and then i will also show you the others i've picked out and we will reframe them i didn't actually 
actually pick out any frames this time just because I already had the frames. So yeah, I didn't need any more, but like I said, you can buy the frames on there. So yeah, let me just have a biscuit because, oh my God, my tea is sitting here. Do you know what I mean? It's getting cold and it can't go below that temperature for biscuit dunking. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna have a biscuit and then we will sort out frames and prints. I can't wait to show you. So before I show you my hallway prints, I just thought I'd show you the ones I had framed there before, just to jog your memory in case you forgot. So I had this fashion one. So like I said, these are both still from Desenio, so you can still purchase them on the website. Um, but like I said, I've just had these up for a couple of years now. So I just wanted to switch them up, add a different vibe to my hallway. Well, I say different, I've still gone for like black and white prints, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I had this big fashion one. And then I also had this Audrey Hepburn one. Is that how you say her name? I could be saying that wrong, but um, yeah, I just love them. I just feel like they give like real glam, sort of like fashion Easter vibes. So those were the two I had. And let me show you the new ones that I've gone for. So as you can see, I've still kept it like very black and white vibes because that's just my sort of vibe in general. Um, and I've also gone for sort of like a text print and then more of like a photography print here. So yeah, this is simply just a girl like walking through a walkway. I just really liked it, quite simple. Um, quite classy vibes and then I've gone for Le Noir I think that's how you say it um, so it's just black with white text so very simple but I just really really love the vibe of these two prints I think they work really well together Okay, and then the next two prints I wanna change up are these two on the side, because again, I've had these here forever. So this again is that fashion print. I think I had like three of these last time. I just loved it so much. And obviously this is different because on the black base, uh, it's got the fashion in white. I feel like I still want to keep this and put this somewhere. Like, like I don't want to put this one away. So I feel like this might look nice in my office. Um, but I have two new prints to change up here. Again, these prints are still available to buy under Senio, but I'm changing them up. So let me show you the new ones that I've opted for. So again, sticking to the sort of black and white theme. I just don't really want to stray away from that because my kitchen is white and... Um, I mean, yeah, I probably could have some colour, but I don't know, do you know when you just have a certain taste? Like, it's just what I like. So I've sort of gone for like this cocktail champagne, um, black and white photograph picture, which I just really like, really simple. And then, I absolutely love this one. Again, a real simple print. It just says Bon Appetit. So I feel like them two together will just, again, work really well. And they're sort of like kitchen inspired because you've got like Bon Appetit and the drink. So yeah, those are what I'm gonna change them two up with. And then the other two that I'm changing up are the ones in my bedroom. So what I'm actually gonna change them up for is this feather one. I'm sorry that you probably can't see these that well at the moment. And then I also have this one, which is obviously just like a girl with like a white top on. And I don't know, I just thought this would look really good um, at the top of my bed. And then moving on to office, I picked up two large prints to go on my wall. So I got this sort of like designer bag inspired one. And then I also got this like girl stepping into heel one. Obviously because, you know, fashion is a big part of my channel and stuff. I just thought these would look really nice um, in my office. So yeah, we'll actually hang these later when I get back. Um, but for now, we'll sort out the kitchen and the bedroom. So let's do that. Okay, so I've put the new prints in their frames and oh my goodness, I absolutely love how these two look. I just think, again, they complement each other really well. They go with my decor because I've got like black and white um, box flowers there. So yeah, those are the two newbies for the kitchen. Right, moving on to bedroom prints. So as you can see, I currently have two just placed on my bed. Um, I probably could actually hang them up, but I don't know, I do like them on my bed. I mean, obviously you've got to be careful because you don't want them to drop on you. Um, but touch wood, luckily they haven't yet and I've had these up for ages they actually sit really nicely here um so yeah these are the two i have currently again they are from decennia i always get so many questions about these um so we have the dream which is on like feathers and then again just this girl with like a shirt off and like her shoulder on show which i really really like um i also have two bedside table prints too which i'm going to change up again <laughs> we've got that fashion print again guys i love it so much but um maybe having it in three different locations in my house Maybe I need a little bit of a change. So yeah, let's get reframing these new prints and I will show you how they look. On the surface of the Okay, so this is what the two new prints look like in the frames, and I absolutely love how these look. Please excuse my bed today, I've not really made it that well. Um, 
but yeah i sort of wanted to go for the same sort of vibe as last time just a little bit different so as you can see the feather is very similar to the other one which was like a feather with dream on um, but this is just like a standalone feather and then again we still have like an up close body shot on the left but it's just a different print so yeah i really really love how they look really pleased with them by the way if you want to know what size these are because i always get questions about what size prints they are these ones are the 50 by 70 centimeters um so as you can see that's how big they are and if i like put my hand here as well you can see they are really really large um but yeah i love those okay then i just thought i'd quickly show you the last two prints i have for the bedroom as i showed you i do have two little prints on my bedside table so i wanted to mix them up so i got this one to begin with which is let's get naked just thought this was very bedroom appropriate and then i also got this one which is just a real pretty photograph of just like a ballerina i'm gonna say in the window and i think that's in paris as well and yeah i just love that picture so those two are for the bedroom and then i also got a few more this size um so i got this quote to begin with which i think is going to go in my office i just thought it'd be really nice on my desk just to like read and like remind myself so this says life is not always perfect but it's always what you make it so make it count make it memorable and never let anyone steal your happiness i love that quote um and then i also i forgot i picked up this one this is like a little cocktail one so very similar to the coffee one that i've got from decennio one but obviously um cocktail ones but yeah those are the prints so now it's time to crack on and finish off getting ready so like i said i just thought i'd show you today how i curl my hair because i always get so many questions um and I recently got sent a new curler from GHD which honestly moments like this I don't want to sound all cringe and whatever but moments like this genuinely I can't tell you how grateful I am because as a 15 year old girl I could only ever dream of being sent something from GHD I remember asking for these for Christmas I think it might have actually been my birthday uh, well not these in particular but the straighteners and I've loved GHD for so many years they've always been my go-to brand for hair straighteners so yeah to be sat here now getting sent things by GHD on a gifting basis. It's just absolutely insane, like it blows my mind. So yeah, as I said, they very kindly sent me over some curlers. Now, I already know these curlers are insane because when I went to my hairdresser last and had my extensions in, she actually curled my hair and I didn't know at the time what she curled it with. And this is how I knew they were so unreal because I got back from the hairdresser and I looked in the mirror at my hair and my curls and I was like, oh my God, wow, like, what has she used for these curls? Like they look so good and they also stayed put for so long. Sometimes what I find with some curlers is although at first your hair can look unreal, they soon drop. And especially with looser waves, you don't really want them to get any looser, if that makes sense. I then obviously DM'd my hair just straight away, like, oh my god, what did you use on my hair? And she told me that they were the soft curl um curved top called UHD, which they have then very kindly sent me over. Um so yeah, that is the packaging. This is the curler itself i have been using them so i'm sorry if they've got like foundation fingers on or anything so i've never really used a curler like this before if i'm completely honest normally i use just a normal barrel one so i was a bit like oh how do i use this i still don't know if i'm using it right but it works well for me so i'm going to show you what i do where is my hairbrush i'm like looking around like where are you does this happen to anyone else okay so i've just turned them on and they make a noise and then when they're heated up they make another noise which is brilliant um right so let me just take my tangled teaser and just brush these parts as you can see the difference these are just real nice soft loose waves and then we've just got my hair untouched what i really like about these in particular with ghd is i feel like they make them uniform i feel like with some curlers even though you try and consistently curl like the same amount of hair they don't look uniformed and symmetrical. Whereas I feel like, I don't know what it is with this barrel, but I feel like they all just sit and look perfect. So yeah, how you use this is, you get a little chunk. So probably, it's quite hard to do because I'm doing it in the viewfinder of my camera. So you open the barrel up, you then wrap it around the barrel. This is what I do anyway. And then I just like clamp it like that. And I always leave a long bit out at the end, if that makes sense. So I don't curl right to the bottom. Um, I always get questions like, how you do that? And you just simply leave, obviously, like a little bit of hair out. So if you want that sort of like nice wavy look with a little bit of a straight end to it, just don't curl all the way down to the bottom. 
and yeah i really love the look that that gives so just hold it on i also like with this curler right that you can put your hand there i've had barrel curlers before that don't have like a cold end uh, obviously it's all hot the whole barrel is and i've burnt myself no end so i really like that because i think your automatic reaction is you want to hold it so anyway i'm gonna let go oh my god look at that and then what i do straight away is spray with hairspray and then can we just see this like look at this wave like how unreal is that like obviously i will brush that out i wouldn't leave it like that but for now i just leave it like that until i've done the whole side of hair because obviously if you start brushing out too early it's not sort of cooled down set so yeah don't brush out straight away so yeah really really simple guys um just take another chunk of hair again like i said it's quite hard to do this when you've not got a mirror in front of you but i think that's about right also something to mention as well is definitely get a heat glove and wear that when you do it this way because this isn't actually like the normal way that you curl hair with one of these normally what you do is let me show you like you would use it like this so you'd wrap it around the silver bit but i don't know for me personally i don't like the curls as much that way so this is the thing with curlers you can use them in all different ways i don't really think there's a right or wrong way how to curl your hair with a curler you know i see people um just like almost slide the hair through these and not hold them like this so yeah whatever works for you and whatever gets you the curls that you like but let me show you the curl this way so if i just drop that oh <laughs> see i don't know i just wait so look there's the curl doing it that way like that for me just i don't know whether i'm doing that wrong or what but let me show you how i do it my way with this so i open it up and then wrap it around the barrel like i said definitely get a heat glove so you don't burn yourself and then look i just clamp it in like that and then hold maybe hold for like five to ten seconds about ten seconds probably and then drop now just look how much better that is like it's just so much better that way um so yeah that is how i curl my hair with these sorts of curlers spray it again so yeah i just think personally use your curler how it works for you okay i'm just gonna fast forward now curl my hair and then we will go out because i need to get these nails done okay i'm back and i've done my hair so just thought i'd quickly share and show you so when you brush it out right don't get your brush and go like that you can just use like a big wide tooth comb that helps you know not lose the curls too much use your hands or when you do use your brush literally just get a tangle teaser and just very gently brush like don't yank it too much else you will lose the curls but yeah this is the look it gives and i just love the curls like i said so yeah i hope that helps like i said i know i don't curl it in the normal way of that curler but that is how I find it cows the best. And yeah, it works for me. So I'm just gonna hairspray that. Need to grab myself a jacket. And yeah, we're gonna head into Leicester now. So I'm gonna go to the nail place I always used to go when I used to live in Leicester and it is USA Nails. Don't know if anyone else goes there, but I don't know. I just always find that they, I mean, I think it does depend on who you get, but normally I've always had a really good set from there. Like I've always loved my nails. And I feel like they're a nail salon as well that do quite a lot of different things. I feel like some nail salons, you ask for what, like you get an inspiration pitch and say, can I have this? And they're like, oh, I can't do that. Whereas I always feel like nothing's too challenging for them. So yeah, let's get a jacket and let's get out the door. Okay, guys, I am finally back. Sorry, I nipped into Leicester Town today to get my nails done because obviously we're going into a full lockdown on Thursday. So that means everywhere is shutting again. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd quickly share and show you what I got done. I just went for a simple like French manicure. So I don't actually ask for the white tips. I sometimes find that they can be a little bit too bulky. So what they actually did was just do normal acrylic. I have them obviously 
cut really um short i don't like the big long nails i used to love those big long nails like i used to have them like back in the day but um i don't know i just prefer a little bit more of a natural look now like don't get me wrong big long nails look insane on some gals and they really pull it off but personally for me i just prefer like the short um just simple nails just like really clean classy um i just can't be doing with long nails i, I just can't i can't coat with them i can't work with them so i just like something really short and basic um and yeah this is what i went for so like i said i just get normal acrylic have it cut down really short and um, they then put just like a nice pink natural color on and then they just basically get like a white gel very fine like nail art pen and then they just do the tips freehand and it just looks a lot better that way so yeah that's what you want to ask for if you want to get your nails done like this um yeah love love them I'm so glad i've got them done before obviously everywhere shuts down because you know you can do your nails at home but i'm bloody awful at doing them to be honest with you i just can't grasp doing gels i mean acrylics there's no hope i did buy an acrylic set and don't get me wrong my first attempt wasn't bad but it took me about two hours to do so i just don't have time for that so anyway they're all done i'm absolutely starving it is 20 past six i've had such a nightmare in town as well guys like oh my god so after i had my nails done which by the way ended up taking about one hour 30 one hour 40 so as you guys know it normally takes like 45 minutes to an hour maximum to get nails done but the guy i had bless him he was an actual perfectionist like when i say perfectionist he was literally like holding my hands up and like he kept like going back and filing then he was like looking at them again like measuring them all and yeah he was spending so so long on them and then he like couldn't do i don't know he messed up like one of the tips and he kept wiping it off and redoing it like he really was over analyzed my nails to get them perfect for me um, and bless him at the end when he was like do you like them like do you think i've done a good job sort of thing and i was like yeah they're perfect like and they literally are like i couldn't be more pleased with them because sometimes you do go in there and they're quite busy and they do rush you and they don't do a brilliant job but yeah he literally didn't care how long he took on them like he just wanted them perfect for me so that was really really nice because you know you do pay quite a bit when you get your nails done and there's nothing worse than spending like 30 40 pound on your nails and then coming out and being like i absolutely hate them so yeah super pleased with them um after getting my nails done i then took a trip to Matalan there's actually one in Leicester now um I mean there's always been one in Leicester but actually in like the, the center of the town instead of like normally you had to walk out a little bit I think that's a clearance store now for Matalan um but anyway I wanted to quickly look in the home section because I've got a Matalan duvet it's sold out online I always get so many questions about it and I just thought you know what I'm gonna have a little look and see if they have it in store um I think the reason why it's always sold out is because Mrs Hinch actually owns it now and you know what it's like like when a massive influencer Instagrammer promotes something it just sells out so I managed to get one I couldn't actually believe they were in store because yeah I've not seen them in store for the longest time let me show you so yeah I ended up picking up three I feel like I've got something in this eye like every time I go to film I feel like this eye goes really blurry and I don't know so yeah I ended up actually picking up three because my mum has been after this duvet for the longest time but like I said it sold out online so I quickly messaged her when I was in store like mum they have the duvet like I think she has bought a similar one off Amazon but it isn't the same um so I said do you want me to get one so she was like yeah grab me one so i got her a king which was 40 pound i have a super king i don't actually have a super king bed but i have a super king duvet um so i think the super king was 45 king's 40 this is what it is by the way if you don't know what my duvet um looks like is that focused it is just called the check check sucker duvet set is that what it's called <laughs> um 100 cotton and then they also do it in grey and like a blush pink colour. Um, so I got the grey one for Mitchell. Because me and Mitchell was actually looking at duvets for him the other day. And he was like, do you know what? I really want the one you've got, but in grey. And he saw it online on Matalan. And he was like, oh, it's out of stock. Like, the grey's out of stock. Um, so we ended up ordering a cheap one off eBay. And oh my god, guys, it came the other day. I think he only paid £15. Which, £15 is not a lot for a duvet cover, you know. Even, how much was his? I think his was £35. Like, even 35 isn't really a lot for a duvet i think when it comes to bedding i don't mind spending you know up to 100 pounds to be honest with you because i just think you spend a lot of time in bed if it washes nicely if it lasts um and it feels comfortable and soft on your skin like 
it's worth it. Bedding is worth investing in. There's nothing worse than buying bedding that's cheap and it's like scratchy and not soft. You spend a lot of time in bed. Um, so yeah, we put his eBay bedding on the other day and oh my God, when I got in bed, it was just so stiff and scratchy and just not soft. So anyway, I saw that and he was like, oh, well, I've got like my eBay one now. And I just thought, no, I will pay for this and buy you this bedding because I stay around here a lot, you know, and obviously, like I said, I like nice bedding, guys. So I've treated him to that. So, yeah, anyway, that's what I picked up from Matalan. And then, oh, my God, guys, I had such a drama. I ended up losing my debit card in there. So they had, like, a self-service thing. And the woman was like, is anyone paying by card? And I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, we have a self-service too. So I went to use a self-service. And, you know, I know how to use a self-service. So I was just doing it. And she was like really watching over me and then almost like putting me off. Do you know when you feel like you're pressured and there was a bit of a cue and stuff? Um, and anyway, there was sort of receipt printed out and then she was like, here's your receipt. And I thought, I don't mean to be rude, but I thought, yeah, like I, I know, like I'm just trying to put something in my bag. And do you know when you're like concentrated on what you do? I think when you're on the self-service and someone's hovering over you, it almost like pressurizes you and it makes you feel a little bit rushed. And you know, like I had a million one things in my hand. I'm trying to like think, oh, grab my card, put my phone here. And then also I was trying to like bag my stuff up as well. I don't know, there was a lot going on. And like I said, then this woman was watching over me and she was like, you know, here's this, here's that. So anyway, because this mounted pressure of this woman um, watching me and like passing me the receipt, I don't know what I've done with my card. Like I literally must have left my card there or I don't know where it was. But anyway, I walked out of there, went to Primark to pay and didn't have my card. Luckily I have Apple Pay. So I managed to like pay for what I got from uh, Primark with Apple Pay. But yeah, the last place I went was Matalan. So I went back to there to see if it had been handed in or I left it. They said no. So, yeah, I just had to cancel my debit card, which, oh, it's just such a faff, isn't it, when that happens? Because then you've got to wait for a new one. Then even, like, buying things online, you can't buy anything online because you haven't got your card. So, yeah, anyway, that was a little bit annoying. But thank God for Apple Pay. Can you imagine if I didn't have Apple Pay on my phone? Like, I genuinely would have been in such a panic because I had to pay for my car park. And, oh, God. And then um, when I was at the car park, there was this lady, like, old lady, bless her. And she was in a little bit of a panic um, because she had lost her car park ticket. So yeah, then I was there for like five, 10 minutes helping her out because she didn't know how to contact someone, like, you know, like someone from the High Cross to um, get her a new ticket. Um, and I hate seeing people in a panic and a, you know, a little bit all over the place because I know how it is when you lose things and you think, oh my God, like what am I gonna do? So yeah, um, I managed to get hold of someone to help her. So yeah, it ended up being a little bit of a dramatic end to my trip to town. Let me show you what I got from Primark. I literally just got one thing um, and it was a pair of Christmas PJs. Now I don't normally wear like proper PJs. I just wear like little silk um, shorts and a top. I like to wear nightwear that makes me feel good. Now I know that might sound silly, but if I wear like box standard PJs, I don't know, they just don't make me feel good about myself. Like I like to wear nightwear that looks sort of like sexy and just nice, you know? But, 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 when it comes to Christmas, you have to get a mandatory pair of Christmas PJs. Like, I'm sorry, I know these aren't the most um, sexiest PJs, but they're just nice, lounge around the house in, and they're fleecy, they're comfortable. So these are the ones I picked up. I believe they are 12 pound. I always get mine in a size small. I'm typically an eight, so obviously like sizing up by two sizes just make them more roomy for me. But yeah, these are the ones I got. They're actually Friends PJs, but I really liked them because they were red and had candy canes on, gingerbread snowflakes. I just thought they were really, really nice. And like I said, they are those cozy ones as well. So they're like super fleecy and soft. So yeah, I thought I'd get my annual pair of Christmas PJs from Primark before it shuts. So I'm really happy I got those. Oh God, I feel like I've not sure since I've got back. Now we're gonna make some HelloFresh, guys. We're gonna make it with you, um, just to show you how quick and easy it is. This isn't sponsored, this is not an ad. I paid this out of my own money, by the way. I do actually have a like refer a friend coupon code, so I'll leave that in the description bar, just in case you wanna try it out for yourself, because do you know what? I've said this before about HelloFresh, but it's an absolute lifesaver for me. Living on my own, I obviously struggle to cook meals for one. <laughs> you know, it's always a bit of a, it's, I don't know what it is with being on your own. You never feel as motivated to cook, if that makes sense, because you're just cooking for one person. So you never feel as motivated to cook like 
fancier things. So yeah, like I said with HelloFresh, although they are for two people, because I always get questions like, how do you do HelloFresh when you live on your own? You know, for two people, do they go to waste? They really don't, because like I said, I cook the bulk of it, and then we'll just save the rest in the fridge for tomorrow for my lunch. Um, and yeah, they're just really good as well. If you're someone that struggles with meals to think of, like I don't know about you, but when I normally do a food shop, which I don't actually do a food shop, now I get HelloFresh. I normally get four meals a week, um, or three actually. Normally I get three meals a week. Let me pull up a chair, guys, because my legs are aching standing here. Mm -hmm. So I normally get three meals a week and like normally twice a week, I'm at Mitchell's. Obviously, I know we're going into lockdown and stuff, but we are going to still be able to have a bubble. So Mitchell is my bubble. So I will still be able to see Mitchell, which I'm so, so grateful and thankful for because I don't actually know how to cope going into another lockdown on my own. Obviously, last time my mum moved in with me, which was so nice because, you know, being on your own would just be so daunting for however long we have to be on our own for. But yeah, as you guys will be aware, you can, if you live on your own, still have a bubble. So Mitchell will be my bubble. I'll still be able to see Mitchell, which will be great. Um, so yeah, like I said, normally I have three a week. I normally see Mitchell twice a week, so that's why I just have three. Um, this week I went for four though, because do you know when you look at the HelloFresh menu and see another meal that you like and you can't really decide? I thought, oh, I'll actually have four this week. So I'm going to show you the meals that I have. But getting to the point of what I was saying, what I love about HelloFresh is when you go to the supermarket, you can be like, oh, what do I get for food? Like, what do I get for dinner? And you end up just sticking to what you know, having the same meals and just rotating them week by week. Whereas with HelloFresh, because you get a different menu every week, you get to try out new recipes, you get to try out new things. And if you find that you don't want HelloFresh one week, but you remember having a really nice meal with your HelloFresh, you get to keep the recipe card. So you can literally just go to the shop and pick up all the ingredients on the shop. So yeah, I really, really rate HelloFresh. I've been having this continually for like the last four months now I'm gonna say um, so this week I have meatballs and bacon and onion gravy with cheesy mash and um, you also get broccoli with that so that looks unreal I then picked up hoisin sticky baked chicken thighs with roasted broccoli and red onion that's 1.5 of your five a day um, great thing as well about HelloFresh you can pick like the calories you want so some meals are a lot more calorific than others um some take longer to cook so yeah you can literally pick which ones you want to pick so the speedier recipes that take like 15 to 20 minutes there's ones that take 40 minutes there's ones like i said that are below 500 calories there's ones that are more so yeah you can cater all of that too um next one i picked up was bacon penny arabiata with chives and garlic sea batter oh my god that actually sounds unreal i bet that's a bit of a carby one but who cares? And then I've also got a rapid one, which is the chicken and broccoli stir fry with noodles, which I'm actually going to have this one tonight because I just want something quick, easy. I'm so hungry. As I'm speaking right now, do you know when you feel the hunger in the pit of your stomach and you're like, oh my God, I feel like I could faint at any moment. So yeah, that is what we're going to make together now. I just want to show you how quick and easy this is, guys. Yeah, probably going to put you on a bit of a time lapse and then we will sit and have dinner. And then I don't know what else we're going to get up to this evening. It's getting a little bit late. I was going to do my Christmas tree this evening. But I don't know whether to do that in the morning now. And I carry on filming in the morning for a little bit. Mm, going to see how I feel. But let's quickly make food before I do actually collapse. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. But I won't let the stormy seas throw me in open water. Let me have my peace and lead me to tomorrow. Wind into my sail, away from things I let go. Floating on the waves, we go bottoms up. Let me have my peace and leave me to 
tomorrow, wind into myself. Away from things I let go, floating on the way. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. When you're feeling down, push the pain away. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. And face that shit another day. We go bottoms up. Okay guys, I just thought I'd quickly show you tonight's dinner. Let's have a look if it looks similar to the picture. Mine actually looks a little bit better. I don't think they had red peppers. I always think like when you have different colour um, peppers, it just adds more colour and looks a lot nicer. But oh my god, this does look so yummy. I didn't actually have much spring onion. <laughs> the spring onion I got was quite uh, minimal, but it was only sprinkle on top. But yeah, uh, it's served with a lime um, that you can just squeeze as well. But oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I'm going to tuck in. So... I'm back and I have changed into my Christmas PJs. Look how cute these look. I just love them. They're so comfy as well. Um, had my dinner. Oh my goodness. It was so, so good. Like considering that one was like a healthy one, it tasted so nice. Um, and yeah, I've got a little bit left over for tomorrow. I did end up going back for a little bit more because I haven't really eaten a lot today. Do you know when you're just so hungry? So it's a good job I'm not um, eating for two tonight because I would have definitely been delving into their portion too. I think the thing is with stir fry sometimes is, I don't know, I don't always find it that filling um, unless you've got like loads and loads of noodles. So um, yeah, obviously it was just like one noodle portion. Whereas when I'm like cooking for myself, I always feel like I cook more. Do you get what I'm saying? So like with a HelloFresh, it's obviously a portion for two people. So they probably portion control it. Whereas when I make my own things, I don't. And I just sort of eat until I'm full up. Um, but saying that, like some of the HelloFresh meals are like really, really filling. I think it's just because it's a stir fry one, it's a more healthier one. Because normally when I um, eat like, one portion with HelloFresh, I'm so full when it's plenty. Um, but yeah, what is little buddy doing on my countertop? What are you doing? I put you some more food there. Anyway, he's been cheeky. Right, I need to quickly give the kitchen a tidy up. I've just put a few pots and pans away, but I just need to spray on the surfaces, give it a little freshen up. Um, what else was I going to say to you? There was something I was going to say. I'll show you a full length of my PJs so you can see what they look like on. They're a really nice fit as well, actually. Like I said, getting just the um, one to two size bigger, just it's just nice and relaxed. And they just feel so soft too. There was something I was going to show you guys, and I can't quite remember. Hopefully, I'll think about it in a second. Oh, 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 oh. I know what I was going to show you. I'm going to show you my pudding. So, I don't normally have pudding during the week. Like, Monday to Friday, unless I'm with Mitchell and we're, like, sitting there going, oh, shall we order, like, a dessert takeaway? I don't really have pudding, but... In the week, after I've eaten like a dinner, I always have to have something sweet. So although I won't go out and have like a full pudding, I will always have something sweet. Like I do have a massive sweet tooth. So I'll show you what I do have after dinner normally. So I normally have either a crispy roll. So I normally like make myself a nice cup of tea, get on the sofa and have one of these. These are only 64 calories. So they're not actually that bad and i don't know about you guys but i do have a sweet tooth i do love chocolate and that's one thing i'll never be able to eliminate from my diet and i feel like this is where people go wrong when they're trying to lead like a healthy lifestyle and just eat healthy when you start restricting yourself you start craving it more so just by allowing yourself like a crispy roll every night or you know some sort of sweet treat that's lowering calories and you know not as naughty um it just keeps it keeps you feeling good and you've got to enjoy life as well but yeah these are so good so you get two bars so yeah i normally have one of them each night or if i want something different like if i don't fancy that i will have let me go and show it to you one of these alpro chocolate desserts again these are under 100 calories so they're not too naughty and also they taste naughty like they actually taste so chocolatey and just unreal so I always try and find sweet treats that I don't feel like I'm compensating on, if that makes sense. I don't want to get something and be like, 
oh this just tastes like a bag of crap you know so yeah let me put this back so anyway what i've got tonight for a sweet treat it's 371 calories, but I'm not even bothered. I know I always mention calories, guys, and I don't want it to be triggering or anything. Like, I'm not a serial calorie counter. I, I do watch what I eat, so I will, like, obviously take note of calories, and I wouldn't, like, excessively, like... You know, do you know what I mean? So I am wary, but I'm not someone that's, like, counting them by each thing i eat and logging it in my phone and being like oh my god i can't have that because i'll be over 100 calories over my limit today do you get what i'm saying so yeah like i said i wouldn't normally have one of these in the evening because i just don't buy them because i know if i buy them i'll eat them um and yeah i was gonna have this yesterday um which was sunday for pudding for my after my roast dinner but i was just that full up i didn't even fancy it so yeah i got two of these chocolate puddings one was for mitchell but you know what? I'll probably end up eating both of them some point this week. So I'm going to have one tonight. Um, sometimes I put a little bit of cheeky cream on these as well because just unreal. But um, probably won't tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make one of them, have a cup of tea and just get in front of the sofa and chill. Just my favourite part of an evening. Just do you when you wind down, you actually take some time out for you. I never really used to do it a lot before. I used to literally just work into my evenings, edit, just be on my laptop. Like... Even if I wasn't working, I'd be on my laptop, on my phone, and I feel like because that is a massive part of my job, I was never getting away from that. I was never having me time and actually being able to wind down. So it's just so nice now that I do stop. I come off my laptop. Yeah, I'll probably be scrolling on my phone whilst I'm watching TV or whatever, but I actually have time where I sit on my sofa and put something on Netflix, and I never, ever used to do that. And I've been feeling so much better for it, like better just for having time away from my laptop and you know what i mean does this make sense so i really advise if you never do that because it is nice just to have like an hour in front of the tv um and just sort of like switching off from everything so yeah i need to find a good series actually let me know some good series um the last one i watched was emily in paris me and mitchell watched gangs of london i think that was on sky and um, that was actually really good like it took me a while to get into it if i'm completely honest and i feel like there's a lot going on that sometimes i didn't always keep up but yeah we quite enjoyed that one um what else do we watch oh i've watched quite a few but yeah let me know your fave series and if i haven't watched them then i might give them a little watch everyone so it is tuesday the last bit of footage you would have probably saw is me having my chocolate pudding and my cup of tea sorry if you can hear the washing machine i'm in the kitchen and the washing machine's on so let's just ignore that for a second but i just thought i'd pick up the vlog um because i know that i was just going to do a spend the day with me but i just thought i'd quickly just carry it on a little bit into today as well i think i have already got about 40 minutes maybe even 50 minutes of footage um but basically i was just editing the vlog actually this morning and sorry that washing machine is actually really annoying me why is it making such a weird noise but the reason why i very quickly just thought i'd come back on the vlog this morning is whilst i was editing the vlog from yesterday um i remember that i went to the garden center with my mum a few weeks ago we went to the garden center in sapcote and i don't actually i don't think i've ever showing you Sapkirk Garden Centre. Oh my god, guys, I'm gonna have to move because that is really, really annoying me. So the lighting might go a bit funny now. Right, that's better. Sorry, I really, really couldn't concentrate with that um, washing machine going on in the background. I think I do actually have an issue with my washing machine at the moment. It's not seeming to drain. Do you know, after you've done a wash load, it's like water still in the washing machine. So that's a bit of a nightmare. Please excuse the state of this room, honestly. I need to go back through all of my stuff and actually say to myself, do I wear this? when was the last time i wore this because i'm really struggling at the moment with clothes now you're probably gonna think oh my god you get sent so many clothes and yeah i do but i feel like when i work with brands right and you know i get kindly sent and gifted loads of clothes for videos a lot of the time it's like when you order from a website you might buy something on a website but then when you actually try it on it might be a nice item good quality and everything like that but you might think Mm, it's not really me and sometimes that happens with my hauls like you know you guys might like the outfit and you might think oh that's a really nice jumper but then with it being on me i might be like mm, i'm not actually that into it i'm not going to wear it so then a lot of the time i sometimes give it to my mum to put on ebay or i give it to charity so 
even though I do get gifted a lot of stuff, sometimes things don't fit because obviously that's another thing with um, being gifted stuff. If it comes and it doesn't fit me, um, you know, I don't have the option of like returning it and getting a different size or whatever. So yeah, does that make any sense at all? Like when you're ordering clothes for yourself and you're paying out of your own money, you get the stuff, if it doesn't fit, you get a different size or if you don't like how it looks on you, you just return it and then you'll get something else. Whereas when I get clothes gifted, that doesn't really be an option. Anyway, I'm really rambling, but um, yeah, I just, I'm struggling because I have got so many clothes, but then there's so much I don't wear and it's overcrowding my wardrobe and it's not making me able to visualize outfits as easy. So I really need a good clear out in here again. And yeah, it just always gets messy so quickly in here because when I get washing and if I'm in a rush and I haven't got time to put it away, I end up putting it on the side and then like I might come back and need to quickly get changed and I'm going from a wash pile, then I make a mess of my wash pile. Guys, it's just a disaster. Anyway, getting to the actual reason why I thought I'd quickly come back on the vlog this morning. Um, whilst I was editing my vlog from yesterday, I found some footage from Sapcook Garden Centre. Now I don't actually think I've ever shown you Sapcook Garden Centre in previous years um and i was just going to do that as a whole like garden center video but i don't know i don't really know if that's just something you'd want to see in one video so rather than do that as a sapco garden center vlog come to the garden center with me i thought i'd just include it in here so yeah this was filmed a few weeks ago with my mom um but obviously it still stands it still has loads of christmas stuff there and it's an amazing place if you do want christmas baubles christmas decorations um and everything like that garden centers are still going to be open in lockdown so you will still be able to go which i don't really understand guys i don't really understand this whole lockdown like you're only supposed to go out for essential bits but yet garden centers are open so is that class essential like what is essential from a garden center because in my opinion like just being brutally honest it's not really essential is it but if the government are allowing us to then go to the garden center because they're still open then I don't know the whole thing is really confusing me like with things that are staying open that you know I'm happy about but I wouldn't necessarily say they're essential anyway you will still be able to go obviously it's entirely up to you if you wish to go or whatever anyway I'm just going to roll the footage the next footage you're going to see is me at the garden centre with my mom showing you all the amazing Christmas decorations and baubles at Sapcote Garden Centre so I really really hope you enjoy okay guys so when you come in obviously as you can see there's all different Christmas trees in all different colour schemes so it's really good as well because you can sort of see what colour scheme you want to go for if you don't have an idea yet obviously as you guys know I'm having red and traditional in my living room in my my bedroom i'm still having pink but i'm going to do like pops of like raspberry and then i'm also going to have a mint tree this year i don't know where that's going to go yet where do you think i should put my mint tree well, in your office in my office yeah. so first christmas tree we have blue and silver i think this is a really nice option like cool tone lights on your tree as well it's very like winter wonderland let me just show you some examples of the baubles and how much they are so some of them are quite expensive like this one's for 49 but then there are like more inexpensive ones, $2.99. Definitely feel like they are more expensive than the range, but you definitely get like different ones that you don't get everywhere else here. So that's why I really like that. Like for example, look how nice this one is. I love this one with the um, like feathers inside. That's $3.99. And this one's really pretty as well. That one's $4.99. Which one's more? Oh, even nice. Oh, they're nice, how much are they? $2.99 okay and then we move on to what they've done is they've done mint green and purple i think green and purple looks quite nice together but I, i'm personally going to put this with silver so for example these ones are really cute these are 249 do you know what i noticed on my last vlog i kept saying cute a lot so i really need to stop saying cute um some glitzy ones 299 obviously there's some really nice purple ones as well if that's your sort of theme but i'm not really looking at them because i'm not having purple and um, they also do so much like foliage Fo is it fo is that what that would go under well, foliage foliage flowers. like loads of flowers and um different things to add in your tree which is always nice Fine, just to like right. make it thick gold and red which i feel like looks really luxurious it's typical christmas Christmas vibe you can just never go wrong with gold and red um so yeah these are all the red ones they have again just so so pretty oh mum's just found some what well, these good points point setters is that how you say it 5.99 um as you guys know i had some of these last year from john lewis i think mine how much were mine last year like seven pound weren't they so slightly cheaper 
Um, but if you just come next to the Christmas trees, they have so much foliage, some branches and stuff that you can like put in your tree if you wanted to. Some pine cones, foliage. Sorry, I said foliage. It's foliage. Mum's corrected me. Um, oh, honestly, guys, it's just bauble heaven here. I just feel so overwhelmed. These ones are so pretty. These are three ninety nine. This is honestly just Christmas heaven. Oh, there's a lot of like novelty ones over here as well. So they've just sort of kept like the main baubles in the centre, and then. Sort of like flowers and bits and bobs to the side if you have a look so i'll just show you so like you have the central baubles and trees and then all your bits and bobs to the side look what i've just found i found some mint green ones thank you how much are they 3.99 they're not even badly priced how much are those then baubles i really like them glitzy ones $3.99. Some of them are a little bit pricey, aren't I they? they're pricey because they're only polystyrene. Oh. Oh, there's loads of mint green ones here, guys. These ones are only one seventy nine, Mum. Yeah. They're one seventy nine. And then we have some like nice glass baubles. These ones are only one ninety nine, Mum. So there so there really is a mixture in prices here. Like it's weird because some of them that I think will be expensive are cheap. And then the ones that I think that are gonna be cheap are expensive. Oh look, some more like green flowers so many baubles guys and they also do sell packs of baubles here as well if you want to grab a pack i think i might get this pack actually how much is this did it say the price on just have them on that one but not that one. Oh, not mum they also have these that are mint yeah. green yeah, nice. again like you can just put them in your tree oh they're honestly i'm spoiled for choice in here it's going to be a very hard decision oh look they've got a nice pack there are some mint green baubles. Is that more of like an aqua colour? Mm. Still nice though. Oh, there is just so much. Them glitzy ones. Honestly, I feel like everywhere I look, I'm just like, what? Okay, just thought I'd quickly show you all the silver stuff as well. They're really, really pretty if you're doing like what colour would you normally do with silver? Would you just do a plain silver well, you tree? you do silver red. Um, yeah. Because some people that. who, when they have like grey living rooms, they do silver, don't they? There, yeah, they are really pretty. There's oh, also yeah. like nice little trees that you could put on your sides. Everywhere I look, I'm like falling over things. There is that much. But as you've seen on the door, like this place, when it's gone, it's gone. This is all their stock now. And I'm sure they probably might have a few things in the back that's not out just to like refill things. But this is all of their stock. If we just walk down, because we've done these two trees, done the red and gold. Okay, so now we're coming to some more colourful trees. How would you describe these trees, Mum? Um. <laughs> Mum's loss of words. What that would be? So... Extravagant? Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, so these trees are very just sort of like, not your normal traditional colours, just a bit out there, a bit extra. Like, this is really girly, isn't this one? Yeah. So you've got all your sort of like blues, purples, pinks, just loads of girly colours. So if you want to go for something like that, <laughs> then here's some inspiration for you. Um, and then we are moving down shortly to my favourite colours. Very girly, blush pinks, silvers. Oh, they're really pretty. How much are they? Let me show them one. Mum's just seeing these like little roses. Definitely. Like feather roses though, aren't yeah. they? So different, they're really, really nice. Gold. Bet they're a few pound, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah. many nice grey baubles around this year as well. I feel like I've never really seen grey as much. They're pretty, what are those? Little. Again, we've got more like no, poinsettias. They're only 199. Look at that. Oh, thank you. Just a what they clip on your tree. Yeah. Oh, nice. This is really pretty as well. This butterfly. Like, yeah, I like the butterfly. God, there's just so much. You really could go like all out of your tree. Hey, here's some extra baubles if you want to be really different. <laughs> Zebra, leopard print. Oh my God, look, they've got animal print ones as well, Mom. Oh. 
they're really different these are nice 2.99 okay so this is the other side of the extra tree because i just wanted to show you the other baubles that they had here um so yeah like i was saying just like greens blues reds oh are they some um burgundy baubles a bit darker aren't they oh i thought they had like different yeah, tones on oh uh, yeah okay i'm looking for burgundy so keep your eyes peeled god these are so girly these baubles are look at these like you could do like a mermaid unicorn mm. tree oh my goodness yeah wow they're, they're cute look that is a unicorn one yeah, one oh so i bet that's like what this tree is like unicorny so many they're nice as well mm. and then as i just shown you this one's like gray and um blush pink which is a really nice color yeah. like me and mum were saying i did you see many gray balls last year yeah. i feel like they've brought in more gray this year so yeah this is a new color combination and how much is that ball because i really really like that one 3.99 so yeah that's that tree let me just show it you okay now we're coming to ultimate girly like white blush pink um raspberry which is obviously what i'm going for this year like i've still got all my blush pink and i'm not doing white though with it am i'm doing blush pink and silver and then i'm gonna add more sort of like these just to sort of i don't know just add some add like a pop yeah add like a pop to my tree because last year i just felt like it was very muted down so if you look at this tree and you can see like the darker tones it just really brings the whole tree out let's have a look yeah they that, is that those yeah yeah they're really nice so i'll probably get some of them i think i'm going to get some of these this bauble's really nice 4.99 though but that's so so pretty these little trees are so cute as well these are 4.90 oh no yeah 7.99 don't know where i got 4.99 from so yeah you will not be stuck for choice if you come here guys there's just so many for me to even go through and show you <laughs> mum wanted me to show you this if you've got kids <laughs> little reindeers kids would like that though wouldn't they yeah i love that <laughs> Come on, Mum. Mum's just engrossed with the reindeers. I like the reindeer. <laughs> Wish be to oh, look, Mum, it's like baby's first Christmas and stuff yeah. again. God, they really have got everything here, haven't they? Yeah. So, yeah, there's so many different pink baubles. I got quite a lot of mine from here last year. I really like these as well, Mum. Like these yeah. darker pink ones are pretty. No, I don't like that, Mum. No, well, I'm just. <laughs> Oh look, fluffy ones. Oh, they're, nice. they're cute. These are nice as well. One, they're only one ninety nine, guys. So cheap. Oh, these are really pretty. So they're two ninety nine. Oh, what's my mum got now? <laughs> what is that, mum? Feather. <laughs> Trust mum to always find the random stuff. These are really pretty as well. $2.99. Mum has also just found this like feather boa. So this is $9.99. You could wrap this around your tree. It would look so pretty. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's really nice as well. Okay, now to show you all the white stuff. So there's these real nice berries. Again, what is it called, Mum? What's the word you use? Foliage. Foliage. Berry foliage. They would look nice in a tree, you know. Yeah. I like those. Or if you just like, made your own dried flowers um, like this and a, a flower. Yeah, Different that's quite a good thing. idea. Again, just so many white baubles. Really pretty. Some white poinsettias. I don't think I've ever seen white ones. Oh, some nice baubles around here. That one's really pretty. Oh, look at that one. Look at that stuff in it. Have to be so careful guys if you ever touch these though because if you drop it then it will smash so yeah the white theme continues around here sort of like the same um but yeah just to remind you as well they do also do like bigger packs of things these would be good as well i could probably get a little pack of them yeah. show with the darker ones yeah. in oh look there's some minia ones minia ones mini trees those are the ones that are 4.99 i knew i didn't get that from 
just a random place in my head. Oh, that's expensive. What? $9.99. I thought I was saying, some of this stuff is expensive, but then some of it's like, like much cheaper. One. Oh, look. They do big packs up there, like mm. raspberry oh, ones yeah. that are $15.99. Oh, They'd yeah. be worth. But yours are more, not actually though, are they? Yeah, like raspberry, isn't it? Yeah. Again, okay. more foliage. Okay, this is definitely going to be one of my mum's favourite places because my mum's still a kid at heart. <laughs> I want a kiddie to bring. Well, I'm not having a kid anytime soon, mum. <laughs> oh, these are really cute. Christmas village. Honestly, guys, it's just so much. It's, it just never ends. I thought we'd finish and then here we are. And they also sell Christmas trees, which look really nice. But this one? No. Oh, oh my goodness. Honestly, how stunning is this tree? I wonder if you can buy that, Mum. It's so pretty. I've never seen a tree like that before. But yeah, they have some really nice tree here, trees here. This one's only £59. I just feel like they all look so realistic, even though they're faux ones. Like Some faux trees, like for example that one, £199. I just think they look so good. Then if I just be very well, this one's only £79 if you want like a frosted one. £89. I love these ones. Very like white company vibes. Look, even £29. Like how affordable is that? But yeah, if you're looking for a nice Christmas tree, they do loads of affordable ones here. Um, right, anyway, me and Mum and I are going to go back and select some baubles because I need to get some. There's also loads of like kiddie stuff as well. Just wanted to share this with you, like Santa Stop Here signs, little sleighs. <laughs> what are they for? I don't know. Oh, I now. Little Santa decors. Oh God, what's Mum doing? Always dropping something, aren't you? <laughs> oh, look at that. I don't really know what that's all about. It's not really Christmassy, is it? No. <laughs> it's a dinosaur. I know. Oh wow, look at all the pink fairies and reindeers. That's so nice. Guys, I'm literally running out of things to say because I'm just trying to take it all in myself. I don't know what Mum's doing. She's caught up with all the kiddie stuff. What are you caught up with now, Mum? <laughs> Mum, what are you doing? To walk. I think you have to put backwards in it. Like. That'd be good. Mum. What's she found now? How much are they? 2 99 Yeah. They're cheap. I mean, you don't have to have to breathe on it. You can just... Yeah, they're quite pretty. They've got so many of these like poinsettias and um, just floral things. <laughs> Oh, those are Santa's too. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this vlog. I just thought I'd come back and just end the vlog so it doesn't end so suddenly. Um, like I said, that footage was filmed a good few weeks ago now. I actually had my cold sores at the time, so that's how long it was filmed ago. Um, but yeah, like I said, garden centers are still open. So, so yeah, I don't really know how it works in terms of it being essential, but yeah, they're going to be open. So if you want to get yourself some more baubles, then you, by all means, can I guess anyway guys I'm gonna go um, in regards to Dusenio prints as well I will show you them when they're up on the wall next time I obviously haven't been able to get them up on the wall because Mitchell's not here um so yeah I will show you the grand reveal of my office I might actually even give you an office tour in my next video because I've not done that yet so that might be nice and then I can, and then I can show you how the prints look on the wall so yeah definitely stay tuned for that I do have a discount code as I'd mentioned at the beginning of the video for Decenio, so don't miss out on that if you want to get some discount on some amazing prints thank you for watching as always and I shall see you all in my next video bye bye